This is not an endorsement. Nor do I guarantee the medicinal purposes of this product. DP. Huh? Anyway, hello. Started my morning off. I set the alarm clock last night, and I was I lifted weight <coughs> last night a little bit before I went to bed. You know, did a hundred chin-ups. No joke, hundred chin-ups. And uh, <laughs> bought some rubber bands, and I thought since I'm not going to the gym and I don't want to pay forty dollars a month just to use a thigh machine, you know, quad machine and a thigh vice. I thought maybe I could use these rubber bands. I, you know, uh, continuously seen on the shelf at the, the local, uh, uh, what is it, uh, Kmart or something. Also, I do not endorse nor guarantee their products or services. Anyway, these rubber bands have a specific resistance and, uh, Woke up this morning and I still wasn't feeling okay. Took my trash out and uh, I got up early because I had a meeting with the landlord. Well, this little woman is telling me about, well, I don't like people talking about racism and this because I'm a Hyde's 57. And I said, well, do you know? Moses was a Hyde's 57 and God hated that guy. She said, yeah. As, then she told me about her kids and she, her third or second or third marriage or something. I was thinking, man, you're a courageous woman, you know. You want people to see it your way. And then, but uh, the penal code says, yeah, we, somebody can just tell you to fuck off so, and, and reassure everybody else you're not ever going to get married again. You can spend the rest of your life being a whore or, uh, indulging in, in whatever sexual inhibition you, you damn well desire, I guess. Uh, as long as you aren't doing it in the terms or within the terms and boundaries of what is, uh, of the thing we refer to as holy matrimony. Yeah. That's the principle of the thing. But, uh, so I went down there and I sat on the parking lot for like 15 minutes smoking cigars on my motorcycle. And my motorcycle started a little weird, or, you know, it started okay, but I noticed something was askew. I can't remember what it was exactly. It wasn't the clutch cable or, oh, there was something askew. Uh, as in the day before, somebody turned on the blinker, and the day before that, uh, it was, uh, what was it? The fuel tap was turned on, and... I don't know, maybe some chick is following me around and throwing these in your windows like, can I turn you on? It's kind of strange. Anyway, that's, a, that's an exaggeration. And uh, anyway, uh, after I left there, I was going down uh, eastbound on Route 60. And uh, my motorcycle seemed to be running fine, you know, until I got to this point and this guy cut off in front of me. I mean, he was like not even 30 yards in front of me. I was going 40 miles an hour speed limit in that particular section of the road in between some car lots. Um, and I had to slow down and I had to do it really fast. So I downshifted to like, uh, was it? I was in probably fourth or third gear. And uh, well, he was going too slow. So I thought I'd downshift again and shoot out around him. Well, I downshifted and shot out around him and passed him going like 70 miles an hour. And uh, a motorcycle starts losing power, and I'm thinking, what the hell? And uh, I was holding the throttle wide open. I was thinking, this is all I need today. I, I needed to check the spark plugs anyway, and um, I didn't get all of that fixed. Uh, I'm thinking it, the carburetors might have sucked oil up from the breather, the, the, the crankcase, uh, and one side is clogged or a plug is filed or just one side is totally clogged I'm only running on one cylinder uh, <laughs> but I get the Dunbar and I'm sitting there and I mow my parents grass and uh, I get ready to leave 
and uh, going westbound on Dunbar Avenue. And some chick, some blonde chick in a blue car, which shall get like 15 yards in front of her. This she wants to pull out. She was facing the opposite direction. She's facing eastbound. Does a U-turn right in front of me, like 10 fucking feet while I'm doing like 35, 40 miles an hour. And uh, like it's nothing, you know, just whips right out. So, you know, I had to downshift to like third or second gear and uh, trying to catch up. And my carburetor's kind of clogged for some odd reason. And, uh, well, I get up beside her and I hit the horn and I fucking do like this. And, you know, I'm going to suck a dick, suck a dick. But uh, don't be a fucking moron. I mean, you know, driver skills are driver skills, but when your motorcycle is not running right and it's already, you're already agitated and some chick decides you got her attention or she wants your attention or something like that and do something really fucking ridiculous, bad time. Bad timing. Um, anyway, that happened to me several times today. Somebody just pulling out like fucking 10 feet in front of you while you're doing, I mean, literally, I'm not exaggerating the distance, literally like fucking feet, like, uh, people don't have any goddamn sense. And then I, I decide to, uh, stop at the tobacco store so I don't have to go anywhere tomorrow. Maybe I'll pull my carburetors off and see what the fuck the problem is. But, uh. Or analyze the carburetor. Uh, and I go to the tobacco store and they don't sell Dr. Pepper. I'm thinking, well, I'm just, I can buy my Dr. Pepper, you know, my soda here. I switched brands because, uh, for whatever reason, it's a different taste, I guess. But they didn't sell Dr. Pepper. They, they sold Dr. Pepper, but the, the shelves were, again, uh, bare there was nothing on them goddamn shelves there was like one or two bottles of diet dr pepper and i'm thinking well i'm not fat and i stay away from dietary stuff because uh well i get the fucking shits honest to god i get diarrhea fucking terribly god awful bad when i drink that shit but uh so I decide, well, they don't sell Dr. Pepper here, so I'm going to go on over here to Taco Bell. And uh, then I'm going to go stop at this guy's store out here on both Route 35 and get my cigars because I can buy three packs for much less than, or a dollar or two less than whatever uh, the Smoker Friendly was selling it for. So I stop at Taco Bell and the fucking lights are doing crazy shit. So I decided to take a route I didn't want to, I usually don't ever take because it's a ridiculous, the, the drive-in at Taco Bell, you know, is right on the fucking corner. So if you're coming and I'm, I'm not, I can tell you how many wrecks I think occurred right there in that spot because the damn thing's right on the corner and you got the bridge coming off, and it's right at an intersection, like a four-way intersection. Or, and it's, So I pulled up there anyway. I stop, and I go in, and the place is fucking crowded. There's not a car on the parking lot, but it's crowded. And uh, I get up to, the, to the, the cashier, and it's a guy I've seen in there before, an Afro-American kind of guy. And uh, <clears throat> he said... Uh, how are you doing today? Yeah, and I said, yeah, well, it's okay. But uh, told him I wanted six soft shell tacos, six tacos, tacos. And uh, well, he said, how you spell your name? I said, it's Garland, Christmas tree Garland, you dumbass. But the, I didn't think anything about it. I guess, I guess they tried to uh, uh, reconcile their differences by giving me an extra taco. When I open my bag, I've been sitting here eating them, and I ate four, and I was counting, and I was like, wait a minute, there's an extra taco in there. So apparently, they tried to reconcile or, or redeem themselves by, uh, you know, as a result of not being able to spell or pronounce the goddamn name Garland. Um, but I have an extra taco, so that's okay. <coughs> but uh, I'm still kind of brokenhearted <laughs> uh, 
discouraged or um, suffering dysphoria. I don't think it is. Yeah. Dysphoria. I'll tell you why. Well, I learned Paris Hilton has a new boyfriend of some kind. And, uh, you know, that's kind of preposterous. You know, I just said just a couple of days ago, I was looking through something and uh, something pertaining to Paris Hilton. And, uh, well, I noticed she was wearing a different outfit of some kind. Um, but uh, it's like suit. Right after I searched for Paris Hilton, maybe it's a bad cookie or something because I'm, I'm going to use the term cookie and I'll give you an example after this because uh, this article popped up like and it said just four seconds ago Paris Hilton has a new boyfriend and he's a, he's one of those yuppie businessmen fucking pieces of shit. So... Uh, there you go. There you have it. And I'm going to show you this one picture, Paris Hilton wearing this one thing uh, on her Twitter account. I'm sure you could search it your damn self, but uh, it was a little different when I seen it the last time, a couple days ago. Day before yesterday, maybe. I'm thinking well, she's been wearing stuff that kind of remind me of my ninja. New you, art of seduction. I'm gonna do a screen share and I'm gonna browse through Paris's Twitter. Um, you know, kind of, if it sounds obscene, so be it, it's obscene, but uh, apparently I'm not a very good pervert, because, uh, well, I got dissed, as these hip-hop junkies say. Disenchanted. Well, this photo here is, I'm thinking, the one I'm talking about. It's kind of got that look to it, like it's almost one of those uh, one of those fabulous things you don't see, like lacy satin. This right here kind of looks like the the flames on my ninja. New you, but that's just, that's as far as I'm going. I'm not going to play any of those videos because last time I did that. Got copyright fucking infringement or something. Copyright strikes against me, so I decided this time I'm not going to do that. But anyway, Miss Hilton, I would totally lick your butthole. That's, that sounds obscene, I know. But, uh, and from all the swag, I've, I've seen you in several different videos recently uh, within the last two six months or something but within that time frame and every one of them seemed like it had some kind of innuendo and then she goes then somebody goes and posts something about her having a new boyfriend huh. well and then you got all the rest of these it's like you have all these fucking chicks giving you innuendo and uh, then you have these other dumbass chicks pulling out front of you in fucking cars on the goddamn street while you're fucking driving a motorcycle. And then you get behind a car, ironically, from it's a city car, a county car, and it's got uh, handicap symbols painted all over it or decals. And I'm thinking, yeah, well, I'll be goddamn. But uh, to the extent of that, my day finding this other taco is, is uh, not exactly reason to jump up and down other than, you know, the Taco Bell girls. There's like 
usually when I go there, there's all the, the employees or staff consists of uh, mainly women, excluding the, the black guy who uh, can't pronounce or spell the goddamn name Garland. Maybe maybe the girls took it on themselves to uh, throw in an extra taco because uh, I don't know. Maybe to prove a point. But uh, this is my vlog post today. Didn't want to sit here for too long, but uh, what the fuck else is there to do when your head hurts and life is bustling around you to the beat of a different drum, huh? <clears throat> So, <clears throat> just remember that obscene is not always uh, obscene, huh? Till next time.